Heave ho. Uh oh. Did someone close that? Or did that just happen? Is that a bunch of nails and shit? That looks like a bunch of nails and shit. We hate that. Did you not see that, my dude? I wouldn't say that that was well hidden. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. It's Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. I've got great news for you, mate. You're wearing thick. You're wearing a thick jacket. That shit's not gonna hurt. The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Oh, I think I was supposed to just walk forward there. So if it's blowing to the right, then the wind is to the left. The wind is coming from the left, rather. What? Uh, what? Why is he turning around? I didn't say to do that. What is going on? He keeps 180ing. So it should be blowing back in his face now, right? I've got I've got turned around myself. There we go. A dead end. What? I'm gonna die in here if I don't find a way out soon. But it said to go to where the wind was blow or whatever. What the fuck? Am I supposed to stop moving? I guess. He's got that fast healing system. He just has to he just has to stand still for a minute and all of his cuts disappear. Love that. So are we supposed to go left then? But surely we're supposed to go from to where the wind is coming from, not where it's going to. Cuz it would be coming from a point from outside. This is slow going. Here we go again. Right. Please let this be the last one. It's looking, it's looking good. It's looking good for being the last one. Get me the fuck out of here. Ow. 
Ouchies. Okay. Where to now? Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. Uh, sure. This looks claustrophobic as fuck. Am I supposed to let go? Yeah. It does not look slippery enough for him to be sliding that fast. <laughs> This looks fun. Nothing could go wrong here. Imagine actually letting yourself stumble forwards with all this electricity around. Wait, this looks like a bad idea. What are we... Do I have to choose the right one to go through? Coward. Is that to choose to leave? I don't want to choose to leave. See, this one looks better. Oh, you motherfuckers. Uh, damn it. I had not positioned my hands in a way that that was... I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get to the circle button. Is this not going to go away? Okay, I, I, I've got my hands positioned differently this time. But really though, am I fucked now? I think it's gonna be this way, right? I feel like I'm kind of fucked. If I, it looks like like there's, the screen is so red. I feel like if I take one more hit, then I'm just gonna die. Wait, did that? Okay, I thought I just saw electricity arcing through it, but I guess not. I guess I saw the one behind it. Huh. Okay. I think I've mapped out the correct route. So it's up now. Uh, 
And then up again. No. Uh, right. Mash the fuck out of X. Okay, and then left and straight through. Straight through to the end now. That's looking good. Oh hey, I just noticed the red stuff is healed. I guess I was I guess I was on a timer, it just was a really long healing timer that time. One more. This one is fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Easy peasy. Never in doubt. Wow, real, uh, real helpful. Although, honestly, with that amount of letters, you could probably, again, hand it over to the police and be like, this is where my kid is. And they could run it through their database and go, hmm, what addresses do these letters match up to? I feel like you've already got enough information there to narrow it down a long way. Don't you think? Who are we going to now? Madison? What's Madison up to? Oh, did Ethan leave his fucking door open? Oh. Oh my god. But you weren't even badly hurt. You got shocked once. What's wrong with you? Oh, and the glass, I guess. Low-key, though, I think you're just being a little bit of a pussy about the glass. Like a little bit. Heave! Ethan, can you hear me? Ethan, can you hear me? I can't believe we're doing this again. Every time I come over, you're really fucked. And I have to help you up onto your bed. Ethan, can you hear me? What the fuck is wrong with you? You've got a hell of a fever. You've got a hell of a fever. Why the fuck is that happening from electrocution? <laughs> Are those burn marks on your chest? Burn, baby, burn. Yes, yes they are. I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Show me those nips, Ethan. 
Damn. So if I hadn't uh, walked into that one at the very start, uh, would I... This wouldn't be happening because I wouldn't have got electrocuted at all. Or... I don't know. Those are serious burns. So maybe don't touch them! I don't know if I can do anything for you. Just, just like, kiss it better. That'll help. Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. This is just, this is just the fucking bit of the story that shows how he always manages to get back up and go to the next trial. <laughs> Every time he just comes back here, she fixes him up. Right! Next one, let's go. Oh. What the fuck is this, Ethan? Origami figures. What is he doing with them? <laughs> Last time it was like, we'll try and collect the correct one. This time it's like, fuck it, we get in all of it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Uh, disinfectant sounds good. A pretty good place to start. Crap. It's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. Don't we want to disinfect the wound before we fucking do the rest of it? Your wounds are disinfected. Yes, that's what that does. Let's get some ointment out. Hells yeah, dude. Fucking love a bit of ointment. Give him the good and slow rub. Just gently rub one out there. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I'll take it easy. I let go, I didn't realize I was supposed to continue doing the slow circles. Slow circles. That should ease the pain. Now let's bandage that bitch. Hooray! No need for slow this time. Fucking have it. Wait, what? Am I supposed to keep doing it? It's taken away the prompt, but it failed me when I let go. That's weird. Normally when the prompt disappears, you can let go of the thing you were doing. That has been the case for the entire game, except for that one interaction. That's all I can do. How do you feel? I feel like a mummy. Ethan? Call me Tutankhamun. He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. Let's go through all of his shit whilst we wait. That sounds like a good plan. He's unconscious, but he is still able to fucking find a more comfortable position in bed by turning on his side after I walk away from him. Are we really just sitting here watching him? We have, like, we barely even know him. We've spent a grand total of five minutes with him, and both times was fixing wounds.
We did have a peek at him in the shower as well. Maybe that's what she's interested in. Good thing he didn't electrocute his dick. How do you feel? Like I've been electrocuted. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. I sat here and watched you that entire Why time. Why guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Yeah. Uh, memory? When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Uh, truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. Isn't insomnia, like, when you cannot get to sleep and the very first... Si Fuck, I didn't realize the... Ah, I forgot those choices were going to run out. I'm sorry, I... The very first scene we saw her in, she was fast asleep. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake... I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. <laughs> no one can help me. Thanks for your help, by the way. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. I won't. I still have more trials to do. Oh boy, let's go again. Is it gonna go there now or are we gonna do something else first? Oh, we're going back to Madison. I didn't do it, I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! <laughs> LOL! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning, the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. Oh boy. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. You really think that he's fucking drowning his own child? Please tell me more. 
fucking moron. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Hasn't about he got doctor-patient confidentiality? Impossible. I beg your pardon. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Yeah. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Uh, convince shrink? Reason with it's shrink? It's duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Uh, move shrink? Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Uh, calm, Blake. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Wait, I don't want to get out of here. Call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Back off, Jake. Let go of This me. guy knows something and I'm not you leaving are, here until he tells me what no it is. You have no right Jesus. Come on, Doc. How is this guy still allowed to be a cop? It's your fucking choice. He must have had some fucking complaints by now. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. What's up with you, Norm? How you get cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I I've been doing Sean more Mars than you just have. As much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. <laughs> I will not forget. I'll get you Mars for stopping me from beating up a supply. random doctor that is yeah. not even under suspicion. Responsible for his death. Sort Fucking of prick. Noises. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Oh, good. Well, Ethan's looking pretty fucked then. Hate to see that. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Rip Ethan. Huge rip. That is, uh, not going to go well. Who the fuck's this? Oh, is this the dad of the fucking dickhead kid? Probably, right? Hello, sir. Your son is a fucking freak. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. 
I'll use the club to beat you over the head. The balls are in that basket. Love how he says that like I couldn't fucking see for myself. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Hell, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Smack! I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Heave ho! There we go, that's more like it. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. Yes, well, unfortunately, you can't just fucking take your word for that, can I, dickhead? Oh, what's With that? The dad of the Mr. suspect Kramer, says he didn't do it? Oh, I better fucking I piss off, it. then. I'm an influential man, Mr. Sherman, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Honestly, I'd tell him five million, and then take the cash, and then continue to investigate his son. He can't really do anything about it, because if he went to the cops about it, he'd be like, I I bribed this person, I, I attempted bribery. And then he'd get in shit himself anyway, so... Not sure that I'd have turned that down. <laughs> Unless he was only talking about a couple of grand, in which case, fuck off. But a few mil? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take your few mil. Oh, we're over three inches now. The site of the next trial, I guess. Looks like a lovely place. Uh, probably a good idea to stop there. Uh, if we're about to get into another big old trial, seems like a uh, good break point. So. Can't remember how many trials they said there were. Was it five? Is this three of five? Possibly. We'll see. Not sure how far through we are, but uh, the rain has got to halfway, so maybe we're halfway through the game. We shall see. We shall see. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more heavy rain. Thanks for watching. See you then.